Welcome back. Talk Back Live brought to you by Autotech, located on Silver Bluff Road over on the south side of Aiken, across from the Hitchcock Shopping Center, where TJ Maxx and um, all those different shops are. Just go right across the street of Silver Bluff Road from there, and there is Autotech. They specialize in imports, but they can fix your domestic cars too. They could probably even fix Barney's old car and get that running in top shape. That's how good they are. They can fix old, new, inexpensive to expensive cars, and they've got some real expensive ones there. Go by and see them at Auto Tech. <coughs> Tell them Talk Back Live sent you over there. All right, we're very fortunate to have Barney of Mayberry here with us, celebrating the Aiken Fair being in town, and Barney's going to be out at the fair walking around. But before we go back to the Barney, we're going to talk to Scott, who, who's still in uniform, <laughs> Scott Eggerson, right? That's right, Epperson, that's Epper, right. Epperson. Absolutely. Well, we'll shake your hand again. Thank you so much. <laughs> we're, we're just tickled to have you. You know, we uh, we had you at the Aiken Kiwanis Club. It may have been uh, 20 years ago, 15 years ago. I can't remember. Gee, you're getting old. I know. I, every time I turn around, something comes up that reminds me of that. But uh, you've been doing this a long time. I have. And, uh, you know, I've been very fortunate. Uh, as I always tell people, I'm very blessed. I take nothing for granted. Uh, there's nothing that I enjoy any better than to go out and make people smile, laugh, have a good time. And, you know, it's good to uh, be able to go out and look at your job as being able to make people smile and make memories. Yeah. Smile and make memories. But uh, is it something that I've always thought I was going to do? No. Yeah. Not at all. If uh, several years ago, if you'd told me this is what I would be doing, I would say, I don't think so. Uh, I've always been involved in theater, and I'm still involved in the theater. Um, but uh, actually, what folks don't really know is I'm retired in law enforcement. Really? I am. I'm a retired uh, investigator with the police department, and uh, was doing. Uh, of course, the Barney character for several years there. <laughs> it all started as a joke, and uh, <laughs> it, of course, the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. And, it, well, how much studying did you have to do of the character? Or were you such a big fan? Well, obviously, I'm a big fan. Sure, of Sure, I am. Um, as far as to get the uh, mannerisms, you've got oh, it the took sniffles. Me, oh, it took me a long time. It took me at least 45 minutes there, <laughs> uh, but. Uh, I was able to, uh, I was very fortunate, of course, to meet George Lindsay Gilbert, who's a very good friend of mine, and uh, Andy, uh, Aunt B. met several of the characters, Ernest T. Bass, very, uh, very intelligent folks, very talented. Um, was I a big fan? Sure. Uh, growing up in Mount Airy, North Carolina, Andy Griffin's hometown. Right. And uh, a lot of people say that Mayberry is Mount uh, Airy to well, a large degree. You know, I, well, you may say that. Um, we have uh, Barney's Diner, we have Aunt B's Candy Shop, Nopi's Ice Cream Shop, Weaver's Department Store, Snappy Lunch, The Cafe. Floyd and, the Barber? Sure, Floyd the Barber, <laughs> and, that I've gotten my hair cut many a times ever since I was uh, very young. And of course, Betty Lynn, Thelma Lou, lives in Mount Airy. And she lives right there in Mount Airy now. The real one? Yes, absolutely. Betty that. Lynn is living in Mount Airy. And her and I were able to do a Christmas show together a couple of years ago. But uh, it's, uh, I've been a big fan of Mayberry and Andy Griffin's show. And people often ask me, how would you describe Andy? You could describe Andy in one word, genius. Mm -hmm. you know? But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a good life. It's been, uh, I'm very blessed and very fortunate. And the good thing I like, uh, just like coming to the fair here in Aiken, I meet so many friends all over the country. Yeah. And uh, I meet so many friends, and it's uh, new acquaintances and old friends, too. How often do you run into people that have no clue what you're doing? Very, very seldom. Yeah, that's what I would think. Uh, very seldom. It's televised so much now. Even the little ones come up and uh, uh, know who I am, uh, know who the character is. I had one just this week run up to me, and he must have been probably five or six years old. And he said, I know who you are. I said, you don't know who I am. He said, yes, I do. You're Barney. You remember when you locked yourself in the jail? <laughs> and then I get this, my grandma loves you all the time. I get that. But, and, and it's great because that does tell me that mom and dad, it does tell me that grandma and grandpa is having the children to watch it. You know, because people are always saying now that uh, we want good, clean fun on television. We want good, clean shows. Well, folks, 
Andy Griffin Show is still there, and it's still good, clean, fun, with a lot of times a good moral. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, as I always say, I count myself blessed every day. Uh, it's like you're saying, and I often wonder this as to the, the Andy Griffith show mm -hmm. shows you, and, and we can name other ones, Bill Cosby, sure. show, of the, the family life, and people love these things. Sure. It, does it ever amaze you that people don't try to duplicate that and uh, they can leave out some of the, the harshness that you know, they throw in there? Uh, I was talking with George Lindsay, uh, Goober, so many times. You know, he was one always to say, make them smile and make them laugh and keep it clean. Yeah. And he would always say, you know, him and I were talking, it doesn't have to use, you don't have to use profanity. It doesn't have to be uh, dirty to be funny. Uh, there's good, clean fun out there. Uh, I do a stage show, and uh, I always, uh, what I base my stage show on and what I base myself on in the appearances at fairs or any other appearance, I'm never ashamed to say anything that I would be ashamed to say in front of my wife, uh, my family, my mother, my grandparents. You know, uh, if you don't put yourself in that position, you don't have to worry about it. And uh, and I really totally agree. It doesn't have to be dirty to be funny. No, it, it needs to be uh, something that everybody can relate to. Absolutely. And people relate so well to that show and the characters because sure. it's, uh, it's there's characters that remind you of somebody you knew, if not yourself. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I have folks to come up to me all the time. And say, so, you know who you look like? And I'll say, Elvis. <laughs> and they'll say, well, no, I thought you looked like Marty Fine. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, funny story, the thing started so, so many years ago. I was 19 years old when I got on the police department. And, uh, of course, <laughs> I weighed probably 120 pounds then. And uh, as soon as I came out in uniform, my dad said, you know who you look like? <laughs> and I said, let's don't even go there. <laughs> but, you know. I'm blessed. I, I can't think of a character that I'd rather portray. Uh, I am so excited every day that I go out. I am so excited about the people that I meet, uh, the people that come up to me. I get stopped in airports. I get stopped, you know, just about practically everywhere I go. Uh, or they say, just like you said, you know, I saw you here. Mm -hmm. I was talking to one of the gentlemen at the fair. He, he's seen me for years. Uh, the young lady here, we, we met in Atlanta. And, but it's a good thing. It's so funny, you know. I get emails all the time saying, hey, I saw you at so-and-so, enjoyed seeing you, you know, had a great time, you made us laugh. That's the important thing. You know, laughter is really good for the soul, whether you're making me laugh or I make you laugh or we make each other laugh, it's a good thing. And to be happy and to spread smiles and joy. And uh, when I leave, that's the way I feel that I've really done my best to do that, and I love it. Yeah, no, and you do a great job of it. Thank you so much. All right, well, let's take a break, and when we come back, we're going to get Barney, the character, to come back. He's here for the somewhere. Close of the show when we return on Talk Back Live. 